Hey guys, it's me and Glam Good nah, 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 Makeup and the Little Pink Princess Dragon. Yes, that's right. It's makeup. It's makeup geek. <laughs> yes, it is. So, makeup geek having some righteous sales going on right now i mean really righteous why don't you guys go take a seat while i tell people about this um and you'll have to go check on it because <clears throat> it doesn't say when it's going to be over so it might be one of those when supplies are you know are gone kind of deals but they had a 50 dollars mystery bag they had a 20 dollars mystery bag now as y'all know I am out of work at the moment, so even $20 is a chunk of change. However, they also had a round pan $10 grab bag, okay? $10. <clears throat> Including shipping, it ran me about $13, which, you know... Like, well, what, what can you get of quality for less than 15 bucks? You know, I mean, you can't even, a mascara costs more than that. Y'all know what I'm talking, you know what I'm talking about. So, let's see what we got in this bag, in this box. <laughs> Speaking of bags, Ipsy's messing around now. My bag has been sitting with the shipping label since the 13th of March. It ain't moved. It hasn't even made it to the shipper yet. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Miss Sue Dunn did some email. And let me tell you what. Ipsy used to be you could hit Ipsy Care. And they would go, you know, here are some questions that might be able to answer. Or here is our email. No. Now it's the same thing as everybody else. You got to go through all that red tape before you can actually get the email. So I did, but we'll see. We'll see because I'm like, dudes, did you not take my money out on the first? Where is my goods? <laughs> so yeah, we are, we're stuffed in here really well. Let's just, you know, Lord of mercy. They did, they, okay, <laughs> and now, here's another, sneaky peeky, okay, let us take the stuff out of the box, okay, and I kind of wanted to do swatches, but we might do that some other time, because Y'all know when my phone hits like 30 minutes, I'm kind of kind of done. We might have to swatch this one though. This is Rebel. It's eyeshadow. Okay. This one is Half Hearted. A warm medium contour. Alright, there's there's that one. We you know. We're interested in the eyeshadow. <laughs> now, if they would have sent me a blush, we might could talk about that. But no, I don't see no blush. All right. This. Actually, I'm kind of doing this wrong, but that's all right. I, I can still fix it. I am positive that this is some kind of a duochrome. It looks like it's gold and possibly purple. Really? Gold and purple? I've not had. You know, it's a phone. And I'll never have a camera because I'll just, you know. There we go. There we go. I'll never be making enough money off of this channel to have an actual camera. But, you know, phone works. Phone works. It just doesn't give you the, uh... Ah. 
Okay, now I know what I need this stuff for. <laughs> Ooh. You know, the phone just doesn't give you the, um, the real accuracy that a camera would. Okay, I'm not going to take everything off of this, but we also got little Z palettes. And the reason that they're getting rid of these is because, look, they have round pans. Now, here's the deal. Makeup Geek is, ooh, that's nice. They are um, putting all of their things in square pans. So, obviously, square pans ain't going to fit in there. <laughs> yeah. So, um, oh, come hither. This is a nice band. I'm going to hold on to that. So they have to, you know, get rid of all of their all of their, you know, round pan stuff cuz hello, round pans. Ooh, okay, we have I'm pretty sure these are all just regular mats. We have um Rapunzel and So Pale. And both of these look to me, let's see, Rapunzel is a little bit more blonde. And they're pretty close. But Rapunzel's got just a little bit more color in it. Um, they both look to me like they would make just a wonderful transition shade. Hmm. Now you know we're going to need one of them. So let's go ahead and... We're going to go with, what is this, Rapunzel, and we're going to go ahead and put her right in there with uh, whatever that first shade was. <laughs> okay, then we have House Lights, and this is, this is a foil. So, I did get a duochrome and a foil. It is a gold foil, and it is a gold foil. <laughs> it is a gold foil. She is, she is rather beautiful. Um, I don't think I'm going to put that with the duochrome. She, that's going to go in the other one. Okay, and then we have... You see, come on. I should have took these all out first, but you know, I want to I do this with you guys. But yeah, I should. Summer loving. Summer loving happened so fast. It's kind of an orangey. Yeah, this is a color that I will like in the crease and also possibly in the outer corner quite a bit. Let's see, can I get it to. It's just not wanting to really show its true colors. Hmm. No, but it, it's an orangey. <laughs> it's an orangey kind of a color. I'm going to put that in there with the gold. And then we have this Surf's Up, which is a sort of a... I don't know how to describe this. It's kind of like a slate blue, maybe. Okay. A gray blue, a slate blue. Oh, yeah, that that's that's pretty. We're gonna put that over here with that duochrome because I I have a feeling that'll go nice with that. Oh, those two together. Okay. And we still have one, two, three, four left. We have three spots for shades left. 
Oh yeah, that one's pretty. Okay, let's do this one. This one is definitely going in a thing because, holy cow, she is so pretty. She's so pretty. Okay, this is, does it say? It just says pressed eyeshadow pan. All right, this is pink of me. You know, not think of me. Pink of me, okay? Now this, I'm almost positive, is a shimmer. Okay, I should have put it a little lower on my finger. Would have been good, because... Yeah, put it on a part of your finger that's not touching the arm, right? Mm. Yeah, she's going to go in there with that duochrome and... We're going to do something. I don't know what we're going to do, but we're going to do something. All right. Um, These two are pretty darn similar. So probably only one of these is going to go in the pan. We've got Prom Night and Tinseltown. Okay, so here is... Prom night. Yeah, no, it just, it hates me. Uh, it looks like almost a, a kind of a, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Almost kind of a purpley brown thing going on here. Okay, brown. I would call that brown. Okay. And that's, who is that? Prom night? Prom night is brown. That's interesting. And this is Tinseltown. Which is definitely brown. Like, yeah, that that's like, yeah. That's your deepening shade right there that that's a serious brown she ain't joking around <laughs> she ain't joking around that's a serious brown i'll tell you what now i have heard some good things about makeup geek i have never actually owned makeup geek i think i'm you know maybe a eyeliner or a lipstick in a subscription box but who is this this is spirited Spirited. But I've never tried their eyeshadows, and they do have... Okay, I can see why that would be spirited. They do have really high reviews. Um, wow, that's, that's pretty. That really... Not sure where I want to put that. <laughs> Not sure. Um, hmm. I think we're gonna have to move this blue one out because Duda. <sighs> yeah, okay, so I've got them in there. How do you get them back out? You don't? Ah, oh, maybe not. Okay, my bad. Let me put you on hold for a second. I'll be right back. Okay, looks good. Okay, so here's what I did. Uh, no transition shade in here. I've got not the dark brown, but the, the lighter brown, that orange, the gold foil, and the slate blue are in this one and I'm gonna set this over here <clears throat> I still have another transition shade and the bronzer I'm telling you ten dollars are you kidding me this is this is so worth ten dollars really this is so worth ten dollars that you should probably just put me on hold right now 
and go to makeupgeek.com and see if they still have any of these because $10. 10 Okay, I already have my Mike J Mike Mark Jacobs uh <clears throat> stuff primer on. So we're gonna go with the Rapunzel and we're gonna use her as a okay, they're a little powdery, a little powdery in the in the palette now, a little powdery in the palette. We're gonna use that as our kind of transition shade and What's she look like on? Is this a... Okay, this might not be a transition shade. <laughs> you know, sometimes, especially when you're old and your your uh, perception, sight perception is a little different. Um, this looks a little shimmery. So, it's going to work today because that's what we're going to do. But... I need to try the other one and see what it looks like. You know, and this is why sometimes things don't look in the pan the same as they do when you actually put them on your eye or on your skin. Um, I don't think I even put those ones on, so. <clears throat> All right. Um... Wow, I don't think I have anything in here to go in the crease with. Let me see. Uh, I'm going to do that with that. You know what? I am going to go in the crease just a little louder with that same Rapunzel. Okay. I want to make sure I have something good to blend with. And I'm not... um. Let me see. How can I describe this? When I go in the pan, I'm not like wiping. I'm just kind of pressing my brush down and taking it away. And it does seem like I am getting plenty of product on the brush. Plenty of product on the brush. Okay, so <clears throat> This is not how I would generally do this, but this is how we're going to do it today. I'm going to use uh, my Luxie little shader brush I've got. And we're going to go with... Ah, which one? Which one? There's just too much prettiness here. Um, I'm going to go with this pink, which was pink of me. And I'm going to put her... I, these colors are probably not going to work. Um, I mean, I'm sure I'm going to change these around a few times before I figure out what I really like best. But, oh, she's pretty. We're going to go kind of on the outside crease. And we're going to just set her in there because we don't want her all over the place. I believe she's a little shimmery, so, you know. We just want to set her in anyways because we don't want shimmer all down our face. Now, as you can tell, I can go for a, like, you know, a real pink. I'm, I'm a little disappointed because a lot of times when people, when they have, these businesses are trying to get rid of things, there's some serious pinks in there because a lot of people don't like that neon, dark, loud pink you know obnoxious pink and I'm like bring it you know <laughs> so a lot of times in things like this you do get the leftover colors because you know that's the whole point is they're leftover and they're trying to you know gracefully get them out of their warehouses um I'll tell you for being leftover shades I do believe these are some really nice, okay, I'm going to wipe the excess off of this brush and just kind of blend with, you know, that that's going to work, seriously. That is, that is going to work. This blends really nice. Wow, really nice. Okay, let's do that with the other eye as well. $10, guys. 
10, $10. Um, so yeah, when I saw this, I actually, I was watching a larger YouTuber, um, just Anne. I'm sure she won't mind me mentioning her name because she seems like she's a pretty cool lady. But, um, and I was like, okay, I'm going to go in and check this out. And then I saw the $10 thing and I was like, $10? I'm going to jump on that, you know, because I just, I love mystery boxes anyways. But, you know, I was like, oh, I wonder, can I? you know, can I get up 20 bucks, you know, but then I saw 10 bucks, and I was like, I will get up 10 bucks, <laughs> I will, I will manage 10 somehow, this really, really blends really nicely, I mean, it's kind of a light pink, so I am picking up more and building, because I am Blending it into that uh, Rapunzel that we put all over the uh, space between, you know, my hooded lid and what the crease, <laughs> my hooded lid, the crease and uh, the brow, you know. But wow! So it does, you know. I mean, we're blending it basically with a, a light color, so it's going to make it even a lighter pink. But whoa! That is really, really pretty. Oh, I cut my hair. Y'all might not could tell. <laughs> but I cut some length off of it. I truly did. Um, Alright, I'm going to go in with this. I think it's a duochrome, but I'm not sure. <laughs> this, this thing right here with the, the gold and the purple. Is it going to look good on this look? I don't know. Um, so far the, the light and the pink go together. So let's find out if the, you know, the purple goes with it. <laughs> and it looks purpley to me. We're going to put that on the lid. And the reason I'm old, I have hooded lids and I have wrinkles on top of the hooded lids. So I have to kind of pull out the lid so that a wrinkle doesn't fold and I end up with like a big bare line in there, you know? You know what I'm talking about. You know, and then you're done and, oh look, you know, oh, there's a big bare line in there. So, yeah, no. No. Just pull it a, a little bit. You know, don't pull hard because you want to make more wrinkles. Just, you know, make it so that it's, uh, it's laying flat, and then, you know, I've tried doing this with a brush, but seriously, if you're going to have one hand pulling it out and one hand putting on product, you're just better off using your fingers. It's just, for one thing, you can kind of feel and push your way around the wrinkles. There's just no other word for it. Wrinkles! You know, where if you're putting it on with a brush, you lose some of that, uh, some of the feeling where things are at. So, um, obviously it makes it a little difficult to do like a cut crease, but, um, you know, that's a whole nother different thing than what we're going for right now anyways. So... We're going to now see if we can't like blend that edge with the pink just so that it doesn't look like there's, you know, one color and then another color. Come on, just, we might have to throw a little bit more of that pink on. So this is kind of a soft look. It's not quite as boomya as what I would like it to be. But, you know, we still have a whole lot of other shades to go through. Wow. That is so pretty. Okay, I'm going in with the, more of the pink because I have to. I just have to. I must. Don't judge me. <laughs> pink. Ooh, what am I going to use for an eyeliner with this? 
kind of undecided. I totally. Hmm. Might have to go in with that like pixie rose gold one. I'm just gonna like pull it all around and you know I can see I don't know if the camera is gonna pick this up, but I can definitely see the gold just kind of dancing off of the whatever color is that like, you know, a blue, a purple. I'm just not positive what that is. Okay, now we are going to take this, <clears throat> what is it? supposed to be a foil, this gold, and tap that puppy off, because, yeah, I can see what would happen with that. And we're going to just go on our inside corner. I don't know, can you see what I'm doing here? Just a little inside triangle, but then I'm going to drag it kind of over the other shadows just to lose that line, you know? So here we go. Ooh. Ooh. I wish there would have been a silver in here. How about they have a nice silver? Whoa. And they are just, just blending just beautifully. And you know, you guys know if I was having a problem with this, I would tell you because that's how I am. Okay, it is, like I said, it's not the... Boomya that I would prefer. Um, I'm going to try and put, you know, I'm going to see a lot of times, oh, that's so pretty. A lot of times if you have uh, a new shadow, it's got like that little kind of a hard layer across the top of it. That just kind of protects it until you start actually, you know, using it. And, um, you know, I just may not have gotten through that layer yet. You know, so I've had that happen before. I've been like, well, you know, these aren't the color I thought they were going to be. And then I break through that layer and I'm like, whoa, okay, it's a whole different ball game now. I do think that looks nice, though. Um... I'm not catching any fallout. Hang on. I'm going to throw on some uh, mascara and liner and I'll be right back. Because, you know, that's how it is. Okay, looks good. Okay, guys, let's trade out the kitty cat ears for the, you know, real life sunglasses. Yay. Okay, now you can see my hair has been cut. I did. I, I took some, you know, it was down to about here. I, I took some serious length off of it, but give me a couple weeks. She'll be, she'll be coming back. Um, all right, let's do the whole ooh thing. Ooh. <laughs> all right, I can't, I can't do that no more. Okay, so, um, like I said, not the vibrant look that I generally go for, but seriously, this looks like a nice everyday look with still some shimmer to it. I mean, well, I always forget I'm not normal. <laughs> it's an everyday look for me. <laughs> um... You know, this is just a first impression, so I don't know how long they're going to last. Uh, I gotta tell you, they look a lot better in real life than they do on the camera. Hmm. 
Hmm. Ooh. That's kind of interesting uh, light right there. I kind of like that one. So, uh, well worth the ten dollars. I'm I'm extremely happy. I did use the uh, Essence Lash Primer with the Medusa's Cosmetics Mascara that we got in our Fashion Stop box, and I also used. I'm really using this a lot. I'm kind of surprised. The um, Pixie by Petra eyeliner. Uh, it's kind of a rose gold. I got this in an, an Ipsy bag. And I'm really, you know, I thought LA Girl would be, you know, the one that, like, because these things here, they, they're on as long as you leave them on. But I don't know. I'm really kind of liking this too. So, and you know, they're both very inexpensive brands. Now, the eyeshadow, like I said, I don't know. I would love to try a little more powerful uh, shades, but this ain't bad. I, you know, I feel like I feel like I don't look sixty. I feel like I look. I could pass for maybe 45, definitely 50. I don't know. Let me know. What do you think? Comment below. And while you're at it, subscribe to our channel. Hey, if you're not already a subscriber, please come along with us on this ride of fancy. <laughs> like us. Hey, you know, hit that thumbs up because... It's so good for the channel. I'm really trying to get somewhere with this channel. And it's so difficult. Especially when you're old. You know. And help me. Help me. <laughs> and until the next time. I hope you wake up dancing every single day. Bye bye.